to America's series here at KSHB 41 aims to show you the America you know and the one that you might not. If you live in a city, you likely don't think about labor shortages on farms, but a lack of farm workers really could have major impacts on the food you buy in your local grocery store. In this latest edition, KSHB 41 I team reporter Cameron Taylor explains why farmers in Kansas are worried about the future of their farms and how veterans could be part of the solution. Larry Tice begins his day when the sun goes up. This time of year, it's about livestock care all day long. Tice, along with his mother and two brothers, run the farm in Leavenworth, Kansas. It's hard work, no guaranteed income, no vacations. April Valley Farms has been in the family since 1957. They named it that way because they purchased it in April, and it's in Salt Creek Valley. At 62, he's still one of the younger farmers in the community. He worries about the next generation not picking up the trade. In history, most of the time, the farms are passed to the kids that grew up on the farm. Uh, that's no longer taking place. The, the kids are leaving the farm. The latest data from the Census of Agriculture says the average age of a farmer in Kansas is 58. In Missouri, it's 59. I'm on the younger aspect of that. I'm 46 years old. I've, <laughs> so I, I've tried to encourage the younger generation to keep going, but it's, it's kind of hard to do. So. Rob Ober trained at April Valley Farms in 2019 after serving in the military for 21 years. I just was ready to retire and do something else, so. Ober grew up on a farm and wanted to get back to his roots. He connected with Ken Devan from the Farmer Veteran Coalition. They help veterans return to agriculture. The military is a planning culture. A successful farm has to be a planner. Devan says when you leave the service, you have to go through a transition assistance program. Military installations like Fort Leavenworth now give him a call when they know about a veteran interested in agriculture. The use of drones and technology to help improve a farmer's lot in life and you know their efficiencies. Again, all those things come from the military and are easy transition into agriculture. Devan is also on the board for the SAVE program. Between the SAVE program and the Farmer Veteran Coalition, both help train veterans. I knew how to do the equipment, but the business aspect was kind of unfamiliar to me. It's that business knowledge the Tice family passed down to him during his three months at April Valley. Didn't really know we were doing it. It was just kind of in a conversation. The Tice family is trying to be part of the solution in more ways than one, with plans for their kids to take over and keep the farm running. They've kind of been set down by my wife and I, and they are not to sell this land. What we're used to more than anything else is that sense of pride in trying to get the job done. Because of his training, Ober now runs his father-in-law's farm in Alden, Kansas. He's grateful to keep it in the family. I've just been lucky, basically. <laughs> Ober hopes his experience will spark interest from other veterans and inspire them to get involved with farming, reassuring today's farmers the future will be left in good hands. Cameron Taylor, KSHB 41 News.